We have a boy and a girl, Molly and Atwin. Atwin does harass Molly. Their mating ritual is essentially to headbutt and bite. And then she laid some eggs. Wow. Wow, well, so, you've got tortoise eggs. Well, there could be some tortoise babies in there. You never know. Are they talking to each other? Yeah. They do talk to each other, don't they? Scott's next two patients are in Hampton Hill. They're a pair of elderly tortoises that recently came to live with Simone and her young family. They seem very hungry today, don't they? A friend posted on Facebook that his parents were retired and that they were looking to rehome their tortoises and would any be in, anybody be interested in having them? Uh, and I jumped at it. Yes, yes, please, please. We have a boy and a girl, Molly and Atwin. We haven't had them that long, and I absolutely adore them. And they've become a very, very big part of our life, like all of our lives, the kids as well. Is he going to like Apple? The pair will be Scott's oldest ever patients. They're estimated to be over 100 years old. We assume that they would have been brought over from Africa in between the world wars, the two world, the, the First World War and the Second World War, and they would have survived the Second World War in England somewhere, um, which is incredible. I was so excited to get them, and then suddenly was all scared about, oh, but I have to look after them really carefully. People before me looked after them so well, then to have brought them to this stage, I feel I can't sort of drop the baton now. But recently, Simone has noticed male tortoise Atawin has a problem. So she's called Scott to check him out. Hi, Simone. How Hi, are you? Scott. I can't wait to see my reptile patients. Yeah, come in and meet them. They're, they're, oh, there's there one of the is. patients. There he is. He's walking quite quickly for an old timer. They move quicker than you would expect. So, Hello. So this is Atawin. So this is Atwin. the boy. It's absolutely incredible, isn't it? To think that you're holding a hundred-year-old animal. I know. It's quite a responsibility. Isn't it? It's great being a vet when you can go out and about and meet other animals, but particularly ones so old. A full hundred years, it does make them incredibly precious creatures. So I can see that discharge. How long has that been there for? <sighs> Probably about two or three weeks. OK. And do you think it's affecting him at all? I mean, is he coughing no. or sneezing or...? Not that I've noticed. No. And he's eating lots. And eating as you've well. seen, he's active. Yeah. Um, OK. Having a general look at Atwin, he seems like a very healthy tortoise. But runny nose in a tortoise, generally it's not just a simple cold like in people. In a tortoise, if left alone, it can become something more complicated, something like pneumonia. I think what's happened in this case, he's a new animal to you. Yeah. And I think during the process of movement from yeah. the old to the new, yeah. he's an old boy and they don't cope with change yeah. very well. Yeah. So I think he's probably got a little bit stressed and as a result has okay. developed this condition. Yeah. Oh, good boy. There you go. After putting a couple of antibiotic drops into Adwin's nostrils, he looks wholeheartedly unimpressed, but as a hundred year old, he's allowed to be a bit grumpy, but he seems very happy and I'm sure he's gonna make a full recovery. Good boy. Give him a rest. Yeah. All right then, Give go him buddy. Let me take you to bed. I'm very relieved that we got Scott around. Part of me initially was, oh, it's just a bit of a runny nose, I don't want to waste his time. But um, I'm very glad that we did, we did call him in. So you've got another tortoise somewhere around here, haven't you? She's just over there in the corner. Yeah. Should I go and get her for you? Yeah. Atwin's partner is a female called Molly. She's a lot heavier. And is she equal in age as well? Yeah, they've been together for about 80 years that we know of. And do the old couple get on very well? Yes, he, he, he can bother her at times and... Um, bother? What do you mean? Um, how do I put it tactfully? <laughs> I don't know. What are you going to say? <laughs> so, Atwin does harass Molly quite a lot and their mating ritual is essentially to headbutt and bite. Occasionally, if he is being a bit rambunctious, I will bring him in the house or put him in the pen or just take him to the other side of the garden. But she doesn't actually seem that bothered. I've gone for flowers before, but maybe I'll try headbutting. <laughs> headbutting. Yeah. I've caught him on top of her a couple of times at the, when we first had them. And then she laid some eggs. Wow. Wow, well, so you've got tortoise eggs. I have tortoise eggs. Oh my goodness. You can't help but be really impressed that two old timers are busily getting at it in Simone's garden. So whatever she's got growing here, it obviously works very well in that department. 
So they're in here. We have two trays. That one has three in it. Wow, that's amazing. Look at that. You can actually see that there is some density in there. So it could be a yolk. OK. And a white, just like a normal chicken egg. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that it's naturally fertilised. But we know that yeah. these guys have been... Uh, Busy. ..getting on the good foot and doing the bad thing. Yeah. And as a result, there could be some tortoise babies in there. You never know. Well, they're doing well in this incubator. They're nice and warm, yeah. so let's get them back in there. Lovely. Good luck, little ones. All fingers crossed. Um, hope that we possibly get some baby tortoises out of it. You've totally got to invite me back when you get the pitter-patter of tiny will, little tortoise definitely. feet. Definitely, I'll definitely. Slightly panic call, no doubt. Yeah. Oh, what do I do now? And I'll check on that to Anne's snotty nose at the yes. same time. Yes, no, that'd be lovely. Thank yeah. you. Well, no thank problem. you for coming out. <laughs> Pleasure. Thank you. It's obvious to see that Simone is really dedicated to these tortoises already. She has real love for them. I think she has real respect for them and she wants to do the best by them. So she's the perfect new owner for them and hopefully they'll live a further long and happy life with her. Right, let's come and find Atawan. Yes, yeah, the obligatory search for the tortoise. Scott's back at Simone's house to check up on one of his oldest patients How's that runny nose getting on? Hey, He's buddy. doing a lot, lot better. Good. Well, his nostrils look nice and clear, don't they, champ? And no discharge, which is brilliant. Good stuff, my boy, hey? Or sir, as I should say, considering how old you are. I'm really glad to see that Adwin is back to full health and looking great. But I'm very curious about the fact that this old boy managed to procreate with his girlfriend and produce eggs. So. What happened to them? I'm really interested to know. Right, come through and um, I'd like you to meet Maisie and Daisy. Wow. These are our little tortoise babies. Can I pick one of them up? Yeah, feel free. Hello. Hello, cutie. So which one's this one? So that one is Maisie and this is Daisy. Mm. They're a week old today. Yeah. And um, we had the pleasure of watching them hatch out. Which wow, was really? Amazing. When they were hatching, first of all, it was just a tiny little nose and a little face poking out. Slowly, one came out on its side, but the other one properly came out like a little dinosaur with its front paws first. And it was incredibly cute to watch. You can do this, little fella. I mean, they're absolutely fantastic. And to think that they've come from 100-year-old parents. I know. It's incredible. I really it? didn't think the eggs would hatch. I thought that was a real long shot. These little creatures are so amazing and extraordinary and I feel very honoured that I've been allowed to examine them for the very first time. But at some point in their life, they'll be examined by a vet that isn't even born yet, which is a bit frightening, but super cool at the same time. And if we do everything right, there's no reason why my grandkids or even my great grandkids might not be looking after these guys. You guys have got a lovely future ahead. We absolutely adore Maisie and Daisy. They've really become part of our family. A lot of friends have said, oh, are you going to rehome them and can we have one? It's like, no, they're ours to keep. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Kate. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you go and subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to watch more great content. Or for new, exclusive, never seen before Bondi Vet stories, all you have to do is sign up at bondipet.com and we'll send you a link. We can't wait to see you there.